welcome back to the Oxventurers Guild, the final season. So-called because these five companions have traveled a long road and they've earned a little rest or heroic deaths. Yeah, yeah. Okay. heroic. I've got yeah. one at the end. Race car crash. Oh, that's pretty heroic. Yeah. We're going to have to devote all our remaining playtime towards it. Towards inventing the well, motor vehicle. I, that's a, a sacrifice <laughs> I'm prepared to make. Uh-huh. Let's do it, well. everyone in. <laughs> <laughs> heroic. Deaths. Deaths. <laughs> Great. Yeah, we'll see how uh, inventing the car plays out. But in the meantime, why don't you introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm Dob, the half-orc bard. I am Meryl Wen, the wood elf druid. I am Corazon the Baena, the human pirate rogue. Not dead yet, but working on it. I'm Prudence, the tiefling warlock, and I have no intention of dying. Heroically or otherwise. I am Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin, and I'll live forever in your memory. Aww. And I am literally everyone else in the world, which means I have died a thousand deaths at, least <laughs> at this point. Yay! 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 Nothing Yay! Anymore. Anymore. <laughs> Too much. Anyway, last time, you forged an uneasy alliance with your arch nemesis Liliana, the drow sorceress, because she has started a chain reaction that might well destroy Geth and everybody on it, which is no... No big deal. Who hasn't at some point? Well, exactly. Who among us? Hashtag relatable. <laughs> You're searching for five crystals. Of course, you've already got one. You beat the tar out of a wizard. Beat the ass <laughs> of an old wizard that we hate. And now in search of the second, you've come to an elven settlement that, by rights, isn't meant to exist. Time to deliver an ass beating. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the mayor, where's your local wizard? <laughs> You'll remember I described some high gabled uh, sort of houses and buildings and there's uh, plenty of, of elves kind of moving to and fro, just generally going about their business. There's, you know, it's it's classic medieval background stuff. <laughs> there's somebody walking along with a, 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 a basket full of potatoes. There's somebody leading a recalcitrant donkey that doesn't really want to be led. Uh, there are some children sort of playing in, in are there? Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah, there's a, there are some children playing in the dirt. Don't ask too much about the children. <laughs> <laughs> like sort of what are their names, don't worry. Damn it. Closer <laughs> inspection, they're small adults. <laughs> Perfect, there we go. I'm imagining everyone's on a sort of short animation loop. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a sleepy elven yeah. settlement. There's a cardboard um, cutout of Michael Jordan on a train going round. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, yeah while well, the child sort of yeah. <laughs> manipulates a, a, a blow-up shower doll. Um, None of the elves, again, uh, appear to notice you whatsoever. All right, elves. I'm with Dob going like, hi, hi. Is it? Can they not see us or is this just elf haughtiness? No, they're, they're not, I, look, I've met some haughty elves in my time, but they're not this level. They You've met some leave. horny elves in your time? Haughty. Oh, okay. Corazon. <laughs> You've met 40 elves in your life? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you over 100 years old? That doesn't seem like many. Look, I've met many elves and look, the, the haughtiest, what, haughtiest, once. I nod like nice. Still <laughs> <laughs> would still want to acknowledge your existence so yeah, they, they could look down their nose at you. Okay. Um, right, we'll go can to, I go look at the I, I look at the people. Are they wearing like what I would consider modern dress? Yeah. Yeah they are. Interesting. Yeah. Go talk to them, Merylwen. Talk I, to them I, in your elvish tongue. Yeah, yeah. I try I like I say Philip in Elvin, from like hi. From Len <laughs> <laughs> no, well? no, don't say that. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, you don't know what to say about that elf's mother. You hear the unmistakable sound of a basket of potatoes being dropped. As one of the elves says, Did you hear what that was said? I'm sorry, he's he's Sorry, So they can hear us. Hi. They can hear us. Hello. Is that the noise they make when they're horny? No. It's one of them. Okay. Is this conversation happening in Elvish? Let's maintain this bit. Is this happening in Elvish? Yeah, it's happening in Elvish. Hi. You can see me. Yes. And you can hear me. Yes. I try and pass my hand through his head. <laughs> Is he a ghost? What velocity? <laughs> At a, a modest five miles an hour. Okay. <laughs> oh, open hand or close fist? Uh, you know, if you thought Fingers someone first. was a ghost, you'd just kind <laughs> right. of go like... Like, like, oh, a, yeah, like upwards a slow into, karate. Upwards into okay, yeah, great. No, I'm just, all I'm saying is five miles an hour is not that slow. No, yeah. I, I mean, I want to yeah. hurt him a little bit. Just. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you, like, you love to... Oh, he's not a ghost, so he's not a ghost. No, no, no. no. Well, now, ah. we know, now we know that. Interesting. So. Ah! W why shouldn't we be able to see you? One second. Samira! Samira, come quickly! Just getting our elder. Wouldn't worry about it. Oh, oh no, that's fine. We would love to meet the elder and we, we, we'd like to know what's going on and help you perhaps. If, you know, if people aren't seeing you, that can't be a good thing if you want to, you know, be able to interact with the world. Eh. I lean to Liliana and say, 
Uh, Liana, this is normally the point at which you would start raising, uh, but we, we try and like leave it to the 30 minute mark and we try and do things sort of peacefully. We're very diplomatic. Very diplomatic. <laughs> she puts out the burning torch. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, good, good yeah. to know. Well, don't, don't put it out, but just put it down. <laughs> put it down just to a small put it out. Well, Odds are you will, it, we, we will raise, but. but Sure, but if I if I put it out, if I, if I just leave it burning, then that's just a waste of a good torch, isn't it? Hmm. I feel like you're nitpicking, but <laughs> uh, but I, but I am going to getting the ick. I'm going to move. Uh, 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 Dobbs on the high road. Let's okay. put it that way. All right, way. yeah, sure. That's no, all you, I'll do, say. you do what you want with your torches. I'll do what I want with my torches. Yeah, that's that's basically what I said. Yeah, great. So we agree. Yeah, we agree. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sorry for existing. I'm sorry too. You see an elf kind of uh, come around the corner. She's uh, very tall. She's, you know, elfin. Uh, yeah. uh, but you can tell that she is trying to retain her composure, but she seems quite rattled. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Um, what was your name? Sorry, I didn't catch uh, uh, that again. Samira. Samira. Okay. This is in common. Yes. Yeah. She's going to speak in common for the, for the benefit of all. Uh, welcome to Asluna. I understand you can see it and you can see us and you can hear what we're saying. Yes, um, what? we, we... Who said that? <laughs> I'm just messing with it. <laughs> yes, um, we, 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 we teleported here. Okay. Yeah, um, no, that's... Uh, no one's seen us, as far as we can tell, for a thousand years. Is that something that you wanted? Not really. Some kind of curse situation? It's possible. As far as we can tell, our settlement's only half in this plane? Um, normally nobody can see or hear us. People sort of walk through our walls and through our persons as if we we didn't exist. So we've sort of just been left to our own devices for the past millennium. Um, oh, no. oh, oh, that's an important bit. Unable to leave. Oh, you're, yeah. so you're trapped here. Yeah, if we go more than a mile from the um, the settlement borders, you sort of you blink and then whoop. <laughs> You're back in the middle of the settlement again. Okay, so. I've experienced crews who've been marooned for a long time on their own, and let's just get it out in the open. What weird thing have you done? <laughs> yeah, what weird stuff are you into? What now? weird thing have you based your society around, or Sorry? what weird practice do you carry? Just get it, just get it out in the open now. We'll find out. No, nothing. We were... You eat each other? No. What? No. We You're continuing to procreate within this increasingly tight gene pool. That's no. a weird question. Yeah, that's, you, you know how an intense question. long <laughs> elves live, right? They've probably no. just been chilling. <laughs> you know I'm like Those over Those children 100. are 1,200. Yeah. Oh, that, oh. <laughs> if I fling open this door, am I going to find you're worshipping a dog skull? I fling open the door. <laughs> There's a dog. It's got a skull. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> All right, they're in the early stages. <laughs> okay, no, we, I'm keeping... Well, we were, a, we were a market town, and then... Then you started eating each other. No, we did nothing of the sort. Hmm. We'll see. So you no, just I... stayed normal for a thousand years, isolated. They've sort of just been able to chill out where they've always been and live off the land that they've always lived off. Is it's... that because the lives of us mere mortals is like that of a mayfly or... Yes. I yeah. mean, no, a flickering candle no. Flame we're just good at this. Um, I mean, well, yeah, and there's beauty in that fleetingness. Oh, I say, oh that's, fair. <laughs> 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 that's the best LPS. <laughs> <laughs> but your lives have more meaning because they are, but so short. Yeah, we, we get really like... bored having dinner all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for a thousand years. being a supermodel for a thousand years. <laughs> yeah. It's better in many ways to get old and die. And die in pain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It makes um, you a lot easier to kill. It really doesn't weigh on the conscience at all, <laughs> says Liliana. I sort of nod and go, oh, that's very interesting. It's very impressive that you've managed to do that. And I throw open another door. Uh, you throw open a door. Um, it's uh, some sort of like meeting place uh, where there's sort of like, you know, like some some tables where like a council would talk to people and benches for, for uh, the elf kind to gather. Uh, there is a plinth with a crystal on it. Okay, well, I was expecting some kind of sexual carnage, but crystal is good. Yeah, um, that's what we're here for. Hey, we need the crystal. It's super important. We need a crystal. Yeah. Are you using this crystal? What does it look like, this does crystal? Does anyone want this crystal? Is um, it long and slim with pointy ends? Identical like a... to the one that Ooh, you, I think again, we got. I walk up and take the crystal. Beating, <laughs> beating him senseless. Yeah, we did. Can I walk in and take, take the crystal? Absolutely. All right. It's back on the plinth. Oh, no, it can't leave. Dob, you're doing it it's wrong. I, I take the crystal. It's back on the plinth. Hang on, let's both try it at the same okay. time. We both try it at the same time. <laughs> Three, two, one, go, go! It's back on the plinth and your head's knocked together. Ah. <laughs> I right. eat the crystal. Nice. Back on the plinth. That felt weird. <laughs> yeah, it did feel weird. <laughs> did it feel nice? No. No, there's a vacuum in your stomach. 
Yeah. <laughs> I felt there is momentarily a void, like a black hole in your stomach. Okay. Samira. This is a problem. Yes. Can I call you Samira? Please do. What's with this crystal? We don't know. Has it always been here? Well, about a thousand years ago, we were asked to keep it safe. Why? Hmm. So about a thousand years ago when this all started? Yes. Uh, there was sort of just a loud wizard who oh, no. was sort of no. giving those out. If it makes <laughs> you feel better, we beat his ass. What? <laughs> we beat his ass. He's a thousand years old. That's why it's so easy to beat his ass. <laughs> bring refreshment for our friends. <laughs> uh, they bring out like a, a ewer of delicious, like, you know, it's... It's like top of the line elven fair. It's like it's honey It's wine a drink that lemons. glows and yeah. is so fruity and some, I hadn't realized that our some really big bread. Our fr Aww. friendly wizard Binbag was uh, in charge of the crystal distribution. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we probably we should have talked to Binbag. <laughs> <laughs> we should have maybe allowed him to get a word out. Yeah. yeah. Don't think except break his ribs. He does go on though. I, if I remember one thing, is that he went on and on and on. And yes. we, we, to be honest with you, we weren't really paying attention. Mm -hmm. He said it was important, and that uh, oh, what was the prophecy again? That uh, oh yes, ooh, when the time comes, some people will make themselves known to us. That's us. And they will set forth where we may not tread. And no, can't remember. Where 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 may you not tread? Mm. Well, anywhere outside of um, outside yeah, that doesn't of, narrow it down. I go to oh 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 um here. She sort of ushers ushers you outside and points. Oh yeah. I said, Can you see that column of smoke? Yes. Mm. Oh good. Okay. All right. Because that column of smoke's been there for a thousand years, and we've been waiting for some of these mortals to go see what's on fire, mm -hmm. and not one of them has bothered to look. And we can't get there because we're back at home. Oh, like the crystal. It's probably over there. So, assuming, and we are at this point assuming, you aren't now locked into this uh, eternal torment, sorry, temporary torment, eternal torment, uh, with us. <laughs> I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to jog over to For the, the rest of days. Their days. Yeah. Uh, then uh, it would be great if you could, could go check it out, actually. I just jog over to the edge of just town. Just keep jogging to the edge of town and see if I get boomed back. As you go, the dog that you. Uh, uh, I'm keeping an eye on. Strode in on. Yeah. Uh, follows you because um, it's the most exciting thing that's probably happened around there in 200 years. Okay, and his head is on. His head is on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the I'll skull allow. remains in it. I'll allow but, it. And people aren't sort of falling about, wailing and gnashing their teeth in prayer to the dog. No, they're not. Okay. And sorry, <laughs> slight meta knowledge. Ha a dog, a skull being in a dog's head, normal. So. <laughs> I mean, I know, I, I, yeah. Write it down. Yeah. Um, um, I would like to give the dog a scratch behind the ear. Okay. Its head falls off. It's, <laughs> it's, legging, it, it's legging it after Corazon. Oh, okay. It's like running after him excitedly. So okay. you can, but I'm going to need a, an athletic check from you. Okay. Really testing your commitment to the druid bit. 15. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, you, you managed this to... This is how determined I am. <laughs> um, which means that you're both aware of it. You get you get sort of um, a quarter mile outside of outside of uh, the settlement and the dog's gone. And I fall just, over. <laughs> oh. Catch um, myself. Does the dog like appear where, back where I am? Yeah. So with, so like, <laughs> oh, it's a popping dog. <laughs> <laughs> it nudges let's, your let's hand it. being like, <laughs> uh, I was being scratched. Oh, uh, yeah. Is this right? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Basically fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the, the, did the column of smoke appear a thousand years ago at around the same time as the crystal? And yeah, yes. Right, yeah. okay, yeah. And you thought maybe these things connected? We really weren't listening to the wizard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's so hard to listen to. Okay, well, uh, Liliana, it seems like we probably need to go and investigate. Who's we? Oh, wait, we. Yes. Um, yeah, remember yeah. the teamwork? Makes Sorry. The, making the dream work, yeah. etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've jogged back from... I've also yeah. jogged back okay. in, both, to try and get the dog. You have both learned the lesson that, yes, you can cool. escape there. Folks, we can get out of town. We're the fine. dog popped back. We didn't, so we can leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we can't bring the dog. Good news. No. Do we want to have a rest before we go? I got some bin bag damage. You're more than welcome to stay here. I don't think Your we should vanquishes of the annoying wizard. I, I, mean, I know what you mean, and also I would enjoy a, some elvish mead. <laughs> I would enjoy all that, but I, I, I really don't feel like we should linger here in case we end up like like. Why are we able to leave? This, One theory is because we haven't been here very long. Oh, this what's a rest of precisely eight hours <laughs> here or there? God, this town has the horniest elves. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry, you can cut that. <laughs> Don't cut that. We're going to rest for a bit and then we're going to go check out this smoke. There's probably some elvish bread that will restore six hit points. Probably. Certainly. Do you have any six point hit point restoring we do. bread? We have, we have elven bread such that you won't be hungry for an entire day after you eat it. Fetch the elven bread that after eating it of which you won't be hungry for a week. Someone, a day, sorry, someone comes out with an enormous piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a piece of toast the size of a man. <laughs> Here you wow, are. I kind of, I mean, yeah, technically, I suppose, I say, looking at it. <laughs> um, Corazon, don't be rude to our host. Sorry. I swear we had some guest beds around here somewhere, at some point in the last millennium. Honestly, um, power nap, power snooze, I'll eat this enormous piece of toast and then we're good. <laughs> you enjoy a nice eight hour rest. Is anyone doing anything particular during those eight hours? Obviously Meryl went, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna rave it up. For... I would, I I only need a short rest because I am, I, I'm like that. So right. I, um, I get up early and explore the town a little bit. Just all right. get some yeah. local color and. I sleep for exactly eight hours. That's a skill. At some point I'd like to sort of sidle up to Liliana and initiate conversation at some point in that eight hours. All right. Because it's been going so well so far. Yeah. Hey, Liliana, it's me. Uh, Dob. I... <laughs> <laughs> um, From before. Um, the bard. I wanted to apologize for all of the, um, the that silly pot disagreement that we had uh, before back at the tavern and also being a bit snippy about the torches. I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, I, I I suppose I basically just want to say sorry. Normally, when an apology is happening, or you say like, and I'm sorry too. Yes, I can see that perhaps I got a little caught up in the pot. Right. Yeah. And and, and frankly, hmm. on reflection, it was so silly. I think looking back. I only cared so much about the pot mm. because I didn't have very much basically growing up. I imagine you've got like a whole probably like Egbert weight stuff doing all of your cooking and cleaning and stuff. So, so like, I think, I think that's what I was bringing. I think that's what I think I was bringing a lot of my own personal experience, uh, maybe some biases. No, I've lived uh, a life of, of constant privilege. I've never had to work for anything in my life. Uh, Are you being sarcastic? I've recently... <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that's sarcasm. I'm sorry too. I think that's eight hours. Yeah. Oh, oh that was a good. Ooh. Everyone's up. That was a long up. eight hours. So I've done a U-turn on the passive-aggressive um, energy, and now I'm vibing on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sustaining Actually, you. It's sustaining mm. me. Um, was yeah. there anything in particular you were looking for in the um, settlement? Anything magic? I was looking for. What's the most magic thing in town apart from the crystal? Oh, good question. Are they a magical settlement? I mean, there's some weird it's all potatoes cold and stuff. Going it's a, a lot of it is 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 the potatoes. These are and the dirt. least sexy elves we've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what's happened here. The crystal is sapping their sexiness. <laughs> it's a sex sapping crystal. We need to restore oh, no. the elf village. Get the mojo back. Please. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the world can burn. I'm not getting these elves their libido back. You find uh, a fabulous library of scrolls mm. um, and there are uh, lots of different scrolls in there different you know scrolls of different spells etc etc um, it's staffed by a very very bored shopkeep who hasn't had cause to sell anyone a scroll in a thousand years um, and yet all of the prices are eye-watering he does offer you a free scroll of moonbeam hey do you have <laughs> any more of those scrolls of moonbeam Oh, help yourselves. Oh, great. <laughs> he puts a bucket on the counter. Sounds special. There are 20 scrolls of Moonbeam. Great. <laughs> great. I mean, you might want one, Marilyn. You never know when you run out of scrolls. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Do you like Moonbeam? Scroll? <laughs> everyone can have a scroll. How many, do I'll you, take you, one, yeah. Are you travelling with friends? Yeah, everyone, yes. get, everyone gets a free scroll of Moonbeam. Oh, great. Yep. Everyone's here suddenly, somehow, but um, I, 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 I assume everyone wants a scroll of Moonbeam. Yeah, 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 yeah. there you go. Sorry, yes, this was Prudence. Yeah, Prudence. Prudence. So, 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 well, it's me and and four friends. Some of them can do Moonbeam, but you never know when you might need a scroll of Moonbeam. All right. Are you travelling with any anyone else? Any frenemies? Oh, yes, um, my nemesis. Oh, <laughs> maybe just the four scrolls? Maybe the five scrolls, rather, rather than six? What do we think? I feel like she might be annoyed. I said, I'll give you six, and yeah. uh, if you decide 
in front of me is not, you know, uh, yeah. Nemesis isn't really worth it. Just keep it. Thanks for coming. It's a terrible <laughs> business I run. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that you've kept it up for a thousand years. What else am I going to do? Mm. Oh, good luck lifting uh, whatever this um, curse is. Yeah, you might be selling to all types very soon. Oh, mm. would you like? Would you like six more scrolls of moonbeam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Yes, yeah, all right yeah, then. Yeah, go on then. Okay, you now have a dozen scrolls of moonbeam. Yeah. Great. So we uh, head out to the smoke column. How far away is this smoke column? Yeah, a couple of miles. Okay. So we're looking a few hours. Well, a few hours. Well, an hour. <laughs> Half an hour's walk. <laughs> How fast do people walk? <laughs> About three to four miles an hour. Yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. yeah, but if I'm stopping and complaining all the time. <laughs> it's true. Oh, and yeah. begging to be carried. Yeah. Oh, two hours then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Should we role play all of that? <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is now a piggyback. This is now a real time actual play. Mm. Okay. I place one foot in front of the other. Okay, roll, roll for me. it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's hike. What's the terrain like? Lovely valley here with a little river wending through it, and you know, then the mountain sort of like way off that way. Charming. Yeah. It's all, oh, it's all very idyllic. Who's the slowest in the group? He's probably the slowest. He's looking yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I go over and I pat Corazon on the shoulder and say, "You can do it," and quietly cast Long Strider so that he can move a little bit faster for the next hour. Oh. Plus ten to your speed if we end up in combat. Enjoy. Okay. I mean, I've got the same speed as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> now no, you do. No, no, you do. No, no, right. Okay, I get there an hour before everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Wait around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I can just. We'll just yeah, just walk long okay. stride, slightly like long stride. <laughs> <laughs> no, just do the, like the dad energy walk where you're yeah. out in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Main character to... energy and waiting for everyone, and we're like, we're supposed to be enjoying this walk together, and you're like, come no, on. No, no, that's I'm, it. This is the yeah. 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 All right. I long stride. I enjoy the scenery. I am doing nothing of note on this journey. Except I imagine I am sort of walking like at the furthest point from Liliana. And I'm talking a lot to whoever will talk to me so that I'm like never caught not in conversation. Okay. I'd like to talk to Liliana because okay. I can walk slightly faster than everyone else, but not quite as fast as Corazon. <laughs> what is it with you and walking speed? <laughs> I don't know. Why can you walk slightly faster? Because my, my walking speed is actually 35 foot because I'm a fleet footed elf. <laughs> No. I've decided my thing is controlling the party's walking speed. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be fun, like to be like, let's use a thing that I've not been able to use for ages. Anyway, I would like to talk to Liliana mm-hmm. and just be like, hi, um, I just want to be, um, I'm really sorry about like the the vibes between you and Dob. What do you mean the vibes? There's nothing going on between me. And oh Dob. no, 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 no! I know, I know. That's that, that's precisely it. I think. <sighs> He thinks very highly of you. Duh. And, but, but in a way that the rest of us do not. Why not? <laughs> um, because... Uh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> I think for him it's a little bit more, more ro- romantic. Right, yeah, maybe? no, and I'm asking the rest of you, why not? Oh, Great you're just question. not my type. You're gorgeous. Uh, you're the sort of person that I would uh, definitely, you know, I know some people who would but not you. No. If you were more into like trees and things. I don't recall asking you out, Merylwen. Well, why do you care what I think? Well, why are you rejecting me? Oh, I'm vibing so hard on my walk with energy. I'm eavesdropping from, from yeah, and I'm just 12 like, feet back. I okay, have to walk. well, look, look he, the reason why he might be being snippy with you is because he likes you and he doesn't know how to properly say that to you now because it's been so long since our last time talking um or interacting or more likely just shouting at each other and and now that you know he doesn't quite know know what to do now that you're not our you know nemesis and so i'd just like to apologize for you know any any bad feelings that you might be getting from him and i know that's not him okay i just don't want things to end any worse than they could between us. I want us to leave on amenable terms and I don't want you to murder my friend because... Look, I already said I wasn't going to murder your friend. Thinking about it is free, though. Fair. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you eventually make it uh, with much toing and froing. What took you all so long? <laughs> okay. You reach a giant archway. Um, if you imagine sort of just like a, a huge archway, but kind of... You've got like the gate, and then you've just got it immediately 
goes back as if it's the entrance to like a tunnel, like um, like an underground car park, but f- a fantasy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like which is ramp to the surface, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. gate enclosed in brick, um, and there is a portcullis uh, that is down but has ruptured from within. It's just completely like mm. from within. From within. Where's the smoke coming from? Uh, it is kind of an ambient thing that is just starting above the uh, the gate. Oh. So the gate itself isn't smoking necessarily. It's just a 20 foot above the gate. There's sort of smoke and embers kind of hmm. flying up. Okay. Uh, there are two dwarves. They are dressed as guards. They are lying down idling on the ground, just like scratching their tummies. One of them's got a little thing of ale. What ho, dwarf guards? You can see me. Yes, we That's can right. bloody see you. And you can see the gate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well then bloody hell, get out the way, it's nearly time. Time for what? Uh, you hear a uh, rumbling sound mm. um, coming from down the tunnel and the ground starts to shake. They go, get out of the way. Get a long stride out of the way. <laughs> a I do a big stride, stride out of the way. Okay. <laughs> big leg. Stride normally. I do a some, big jump. I wanted to all know that in my mind, I'm imagining I, my legs are twice as long as normal. <laughs> That's why I'm I can... sure we've done a long stride a bit before. An enormous creature, and I'm talking like massive, bursts out of the ground, shrieking and howling and galloping. It is um, basically it's all it's it's co- it's just skeletal, but with like scraps of flesh kind of hanging off its wings, hanging off its ribs. Um, it's got like a long tail, um, a massive. Uh, in fairness, the skull looks kind of canine. Um, Almost draconic, actually. Uh, it kind of just like starts bounding out of the way. Um, sorry, bound, bounding out of the tunnel, and it goes absolutely like making a beeline at top speed mm. towards the Elden Settlement. And uh, the dwarves go, "That thing! It, what is it?" It gets ten paces. It gallops like ten paces further forward, and then like pop, it disappears. Oh. And you hear an anguished, anguished cry from uh, within the tunnel. And the doors just go, <laughs> every day it doesn't learn. <laughs> oh no. What? Yeah. If we if we stop this teleporting loop, that thing's going to be able to make it to the elven settlement. What? Oh, well, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, every day, we've been at this a thousand years now. Every day it breaks out and it tries to devour that settlement yonder and every day it ends up back where it started. It's very funny. What is the nature of your employment? Oh, yeah. we have to guard the thing to make sure it doesn't get out. So you fail every day. Is it in the thing? I, presumably. You yeah. hear another roar from within the tunnel. It's, it's an easy job. I just feel like you're sort of doing your job 99% of the time, but the 1% is very meaningful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, because it does get out. Yeah, it does, it does get day. out, but it doesn't reach the settlement and eat it. But you're not behind this teleporting, looping thing. No. Do you know who is? No. How did you come to, to be here? I feel like we had a conversation with a very boring man. Was there it was... a wizard man? Uh, yes, I think so. Levitating. Mm. Uh, Sounds about right. Yeah. Just a really wheezy fellow. Mm. Mm. We're here to sort of lift this whole scenario. Right. But if we were to do that, that would you be able to stop that creature from destroying the town? Uh, well, they haven't managed no, it. Have you seen it? It's massive. But it is literally your job, though. Just because you haven't had to do it in a thousand years, <laughs> presumably you were picked well, for your ability to do it in on. the first no, place. Our, our job is to stop it from escaping. And every day, it, it, it ends its day. It remains in, in the tunnel. It's out for a, approximately 12 seconds a day. I consider that to be a fairly high success rate. Okay. Our job, however, is not uh, to destroy it or feed it or care for it or anything. Okay, but imagine Our job is to guard the gate. Imagine a scenario in which it didn't teleport back into the cavern. Yes. Would you be able to stop it from getting out of the cavern in that situation? Uh, no. No. Right, What's brilliant. it to you if the elven settlement gets destroyed? Uh, well, You're not from there, presumably. No. Where are you from? Oh, we, we, we were just traveling dwarves looking for um, work. Right. And then this wizard said, would you like a job? And we said, yes. I see. We should have checked to see if you could Check do your contract job. Yeah. as well yeah. for the, how long it was. <laughs> yeah. Quite long. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, this isn't We've a problem if we, <laughs> <laughs> if we kill the dog skeleton. It's not a problem, right? Yeah. yeah but that, uh, I think that sounds like an elegant solution. If, if you kill it, course, it'll never get out. And well, then... Of course, you think that because it requires you to not do any work. Yes. But also, they'll be out of a job. Although, I guess if it's dead down there, then it's not leaving. Exactly. 
No, it's it, what I'm saying is that there's a real opportunity here for you to help improve our employee efficiency. Because hmm. uh-huh. if, as you say, if 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 we're only effective ninety something percent of, of the time, because it gets out every every day, then uh, you could help us uh, bump up that number to a hundred. That thing looked pretty mean, Meryl. Have you ever seen anything like that before on your nope. travels? That's that's no animal or beast that I've ever seen. What's down there? The thing. But what else? What takes it a day to return to the surface? Well, well, the thing is, okay, this might seem a little bit weird, but hold on. You see, and he starts walking down the tunnel. You see, you see if I ever try and go down there, then, and then he appears next to him, because I just end up back back on the Whoa. surface. Ah. So I've never actually been down. But from the noises that come out, this thing is still roaring away in the background. Basically, I feel like it spends most of the day throwing a massive tanty. Mm. Just really angry that it didn't get out. And then eventually it goes, you know what, I'm going to show them and I'm going to get out. And it tries it and then it gets back in, has another tantrum. And then before you know it, it's been a a thousand years. I see. Hmm. You think there's something in the cave, uh, Prudence, that is causing this teleporting back thing? I just thought there might be 24 hours worth of tunnels that it has to... (laughs) (laughs) No, you're right, that is more likely. It has to wend its way up. Yeah, it's just like... For 24 hours. It's just running for 24 hours straight. (laughs) And then it gets to the surface. (laughs) So, uh, belay that wrong. Yeah, so clearly the creature is affected by the the sort of teleporting back into Mm. position thing. Why do we think Binbag did this? Well, he wanted to protect the elven settlement where the crystal mm. is. So do you think Binbag deliberately was, froze everything in a... Yeah, I think this was a quick fix. Uh, and maybe we're, you know, they, was, they said about people coming and it will change it. Maybe that's, we're the ones... That's it. Yes, the prophecy of the ones who be able hey. to see us will come and put everything right and they shall be rewarded with... Uh, crystal. A crystal. Which we don't have, by the way. No, just no, so no, right. don't worry. We've yeah, seen we it. Know with no worries. Worries. Okay, so we don't have to pay anyone. No, no, no. 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 Okay, great. No, they just said that. The continues. And because, unfortunately, because you are unable to go into the, oh, this, yeah. this opening, we cannot make you come with us. God, we're good at this. Yeah, the town just said you'd give us 100 gold pieces. So well, What? Uh, they said something about 100 gold pieces. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, there's probably lots of gold in the uh, in Oh, okay, the fine. We'll so, just take it out of that, then. Yeah. Okay, great. Can uh, we try? All right. I mean, I think we got him. Well, we could, like, collapse the cave and then it couldn't get out. But then there might be something in there that stops the teleporting. I know, Prudence, can you, like, look into the cave or anything? To take yeah. some magic or something? Send your little drone eye oh, yeah. down there. Mm. Not made of spell slots, everybody. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we, can, we can just go in. And just You're yeah, made of spell I think, slots I think we singular, can, uh, yeah. Look, if made I cast two spell mm. slots exactly, let's do, let's do Pass Without Trace on everyone. Okay. And go and have a wander and try not to gain attention from the beast. Try and scope out the area. Sounds good. So yeah, I'd like to cast Pass Without Trace Lally. on everyone. Lally. All righty then. Um, well, without any further ado, um, I guess, are we all going downstairs? Into the yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, I suppose so. Liliana, yeah. will you be coming or staying up here? No, yes, I, I'll do my share of the work. Good. Right. I, yeah, I mean, good that you're... Let's you go. Two, you two doing all right? We're though? fine, she says, <laughs> striding down the tunnel. Right. She says we're fine, so I suppose we're fine. Sounds like they're okay. fine. <laughs> Everyone make a stealth check and add on top of your normal bonus, it is another 10. 27. 26. 14. 27. 27. There's no way to not make this seem meta. Liliana walks walks very stealthily down the corridor in a way that says, I got 31 and I know that's higher than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get again, Prudence? 14. 14? Fourteen. <laughs> get you shouting the number fourteen. <laughs> down doesn't, the tunnel. doesn't stack the more times you say it. Um, I'm proceeding very quietly. As far as you're concerned, you, you've be- you've never moved this stealthily. You hear the creature go quiet. Suddenly, it is ominously still in the cave. Although you swear you still feel the air ringing from where it was just bellowing. What kind of tunnel is this? Is it like man-made brick struts, like a mine, or? So at first, it's kind of man-made because. You know, it was part of uh, a structure, but then eventually it just turns into a natural rock tunnel, and then you emerge into a cave that does not have an absolutely massive skeletal, uh, weird draconic type thing mm. in it. However, 
you've got basically it's it's a, a vast cave and there's um like it's lit by some vines and plants that have sort of a bioluminescence there are like pools of brackish water everywhere you can hear like the chitter of bats overhead and on the opposite wall there are several different holes where like other tunnels exist like a lot of them hmm. you suspect that this room is the main lair but that this thing has like a whole network of tunnels hmm. um we're getting the drop on us. kind of yeah hmm. we're getting the drop on any prey foolish enough to venture into its lair. Okay. Well, maybe it hasn't counted on exactly how foolish we are. Yeah. Not a big fan of this. Could come out of a hole at any point. Should we split the party? Take a explore some tunnels each? If you split the party, only the people with me will get the plus 10 to their stealth. Okay. I think I should go with Meryl then. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to split up and try some different... I mean, if we do find him, then we'll be in a smaller group. Maybe we should pick, just pick a tunnel and just be lucky. Just investigate. <laughs> What's the ground like? Has it left any tracks? Has it, hey, you great, know, stirred up, great question. The, mm. stirred up the earth? Or can we tell which way it's gone? You can see uh, on the walls and on the floor like a, uh, just a patchwork of deep claw marks as this thing has come and gone and raged mm. and... How deep are we talking? I mean, definitely break the skin. But, you reckon? You know, down to bone, do we think? Yeah, like the claws on this thing are probably about that long. Right, pluck your heart out on a single claw sort of vibes. Yeah. Right, okay. Cool. Cool and good. Cool, cool, good, 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 cool, cool. We're forgetting, we do have a sort of godlike powerful sorceress with us. Do we? Remember we saw... When did you last see her? Well, she was right... <laughs> Can't believe this. <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Jeez. Oh. She was there all along. Remember no. we saw Lillian, I've seen you do like, like a cloud of daggers several times. Can, can you yeah. scry the location of this thing? You killed a dragon. You can kill this thing, I right? I kill the dragon. You didn't? No! Not that I've been spying, you or anything, spying on you or anything, but didn't you then meet that dragon and help it yeah. relocate its entire clutch of eggs? I can't keep track of every dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you better remember my name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A dragon! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm fairly certain I can track it. Uh, I can find out where it is. Are you sure you'd like me to do that? Why wouldn't we want you to do that? Can we see that face? Or is it invisible? You can see the face. Okay. <laughs> Everyone with dark vision can see that. Yeah. <laughs> There's a large colony of bats on the ceiling. Can I cast speak with animals on one of the bats? Yeah, right, yeah. Hey, yeah. good. Yeah. Just for my own amusement, I would like, like it to have worked on all the bats. There's about a thousand of them and they all speak as Chorus. Well. Oh, yeah. God. Brilliant. <laughs> it's like a thousand bats going, Hello. That's so beautifully coordinated. Thank you. I'm rolling on the floor covering my ears. Because <laughs> <laughs> to the rest of you, it's just <laughs> screeching. <laughs> screeching. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, ha, ha, right. Um, the other creature that lives here with you. Yes. Do you know where it is? Uh, yes. Do you know what it is? Uh, Big and angry. That's uh, true. Have you ever seen a resurrected skeletal dragon? I've not seen one, but I can imagine one, and it well, we have seen looks one. exactly like the one that we saw tear out of here, so yeah, that makes sense. So you have seen one? Yes. Do you want us to go fetch it? Um, I don't don't fetch it. Could you tell me where it is? Could you could you guide me? All of these tunnels are sort of just a network of, you know, sort of you pop in one tunnel, you come out the other one. Yeah. You want us to lead you to the specific... If possible, yeah. yes. Sure. As as discreetly as... No, 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 just just like one yes. or two. Okay. Yes. Let um, Meryl win, I say, barely yeah. able to speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your bat friends if there's anything else in this tunnel network except for a big skeletal okay. dragon. Oh, like right. maybe a, a, a time looping teleporter generator magical yeah, equipment. Yeah, okay. Uh, just anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Outside of you and yeah. the skeletal dragon, mm -hmm. is there anything else in here with you? It doesn't have to be living. Maybe a, a shiny stone? Uh, no, not a shiny stone. Okay, so is is it just you? It's just us and a uh, big dragon and about uh, two grand in gold pieces, uh, all of it uh, buried under about two for the batshit. Well, thank you for that information. No worries. Um, Are you going to fight it or something? You look like a adventurous. Yeah, I think so. All right, do you want a hand? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, we've got a thousand of them. 
practice every bat Wait, with a single you hand. Have a, yeah, <laughs> it's about to a, lar- <laughs> <laughs> a large human hand on its chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. they've evolved over a thousand. <laughs> yeah, 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 they all they all open their wings. <laughs> sure, why not? And there's every oh. single one of them on a human hand. Hey, oh, what a horrifying it's image! It's the worst mental image ever. <laughs> cool. it's like a star nosed mole, but in bat form. I mean, these bats have been here for a thousand years. They must have gone into some weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we call it evolution for sure. I fling open the cave. <laughs> Actually, no, they, they can't understand you. Talking of understanding things, like. Oh, yeah, you've just heard some shrieking, and then a thousand bats as one <laughs> showed you. Yeah. Human hands on their chest. They're aware. <laughs> oh, it's cool, it's cool. This under dragon thing. Can yeah. it be? Can it be reasoned with? Dr- dragons can be somewhat reasoned with. Well, I mean, you know about dragons. You were part of a religious order that. Yeah, I yeah. know about resurrected ones, though. But That's never come up in your studies. I've spoken to dragons in Draconic, the ancient and beautiful language of the dragons. It mm-hmm. probably sounds a bit like. <laughs> yeah, that's um, one. Is this thing completely like feral, or is it? Can we have a chat? You can certainly try. There doesn't seem to be anything in here, any way of kind of turning off the teleporty field. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is so I think maybe putting the dragon to rest, if, saying that euphemistic. But if the dragon was causing it, it's stopping the dragon from achieving its goal of destroying the town. Yeah, it's, I think it, it's there as a protection against the dragon, and then if the dragon is no longer there, it doesn't need okay. to work. So Bin Bag put the sort of time freeze on because he to stop the dragon. He right. couldn't defeat he couldn't a resurrected defeat dragon. dragon, so he's like, well, I'll just stop it from getting to the elf well, town. Probably a test, isn't it, as well? You know, if we yeah. kill this thing, then we're worthy to have the crystal and we've solved it because we've pierced the veil and seen through the problem. We could thing. ask Bin Mag to turn it off. He's probably amenable to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, Bin Mag has an increasing list of things oh, to answer Bin for. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to get, so first thing I'm like, don't worry about the hands. It's very weird, but whatever. The bats are going to guide us <laughs> to the dragon. And then Egbert, do you want to like step I out? I don't know if I want to or not. I guess okay. we'll, we'll decide when we get there. We'll be can, your backup. We'll can we you... search our like our knowledge of dragons and yeah, like things and... to see if we could, if we know anything about these and if they have any weaknesses, anything yeah. like that. If mm-hmm. we pick up any information. Sir, do, do the same. Can she do a sure. check? If anyone's going to know about this stuff, it's Liliana. It's not right? the dragonborn. Yeah. It's Liliana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Corazon, there's a bunch of poo um, beneath us, but beneath that is a lot of gold. All right. I'll do the mental calculus on that. <laughs> <laughs> 14 minus 1. Dirty 20. 21. <laughs> The, the 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 druid got twelve. <laughs> Ten. Ten points. Between all of you, including Liliana, you managed to piece together the following things. Firstly, this is a Draco Lich. It has been created. Um just by some like evildoers who are like this seems larks. Hmm. Let's hmm. let's imbue uh let's perform a ritual to, to make a a, a tyrannical mm-hmm. ravening um Undead dragon. Yeah. Um, they're nails. They're absolutely nails. But um, the good news is, if they ever die, then their spirit will go into a gem, or I suppose you might call it a crystal. Um, it's not really a eureka moment because it's it's more uh, dreadful than it is exciting. But you're all like, nah, we probably should. Yeah, have to kill this thing. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't bother with lightning and poison. Okay. Okay. Cancel plan. Find its soup. <laughs> <laughs> a goblet of wine with you, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> How about we just proceed onwards as stealthily as possible, bearing in mind we're flanked by a thousand bats? A couple of them are going to show us the way, but the others are going to be on backup. Is that okay if the rest of you are on backup once the fight starts? Sure. You guys come with? Fabulous. Just stay out of danger until you need to be involved, really. Also, uh, hang on, hang on. What do you want? Egbert. Okay. Why don't we ask each of the bats to carry away one of its bones? <laughs> I was trying to think of a way that a thousand hands could be useful in this yeah. situation, and that's it. Each one can grab a bone a and they can just bone. all fly away Yeah, and separate them. Okay, I think we us. need to weaken the dragon to a point where can just pull the bones away. I don't know, I think I'm prepared to spend some bats finding out if we need to weaken it or not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, they can't understand me. Gang. I haven't cast my speak with animals. We'd like you to help us pull the dragon apart. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Sort of like an initiated thing. Yeah. We'll go steal a bunch of the dragon and then it'll piss it off, so be ready to fight it. Yeah? Well gang. I give the bats a thumbs up. What happens? <laughs> ah, <horrifying. laughs> a thousand, a thousand thumbs. Times, yeah. <laughs> a thousand times. There's a <laughs> There's a thousand thumbs. Oh. Yeah. Gate it. Yes. We should not 
go any further into these tunnels to Ooh. find this dragon. I agree. I like that plan. we know that the dragon is going to come through here at yeah. some point in the next 24 hours. This is a big open space. Feels like a boss arena. Yeah. We, should, <laughs> yeah. we should lay traps there are all here. all these health packs on the floor. Yeah. We should trap... When it's going to come barreling through here with only yes. elf destruction on its mind. Mm -hmm. Let's put traps in the holes. So yeah. if it flows through one of them... Bam. Oh, are there any areas of this room that aren't covered with scratch marks? Is there any area where it looks like the dragon hasn't actually managed to scrabble up to? Like uh, any ledges or anything like... Doesn't seem keen on the ceiling. Probably because it's covered in bats. Yeah, with weird hands. Yeah, <laughs> I get yeah, that. I, I can relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what were you thinking? I was just wondering whether there's a, a place where we could hide... You know, if we're rigging traps, if there's a place where we could hide where we'd be uh, more Excuse me? Safe. There's like 10 feet of... Bird filth, bat bat filth that we're stood on. <laughs> Look, it's soft. Hide in the bat filth. Yeah, I place my leg all in it all the way up to the hip. <laughs> <laughs> you Actually, yeah, into I, ge the... I genuinely can use mask of the wild. Mm. <laughs> Bats are very clean animals, I expect. I thought I mean. I think it's very caustic, Guano. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I'm like in apocalypse now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually quite clever. <laughs> you hear, it, you hear that dog I said yeah. <laughs> to Dom's guano covered up. <laughs> no, my ears are filled with guano. <laughs> I can't hear a damn thing. Lil so Liliana you can be on the ceiling. I can be on the ceiling. The <laughs> <laughs> she's she's, ne she's next to Dom. She's up to her eyes in guano. She mm -hmm. looks over and she's like... Guano! 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 Um, yeah, we've to that, so I'm sorry, another miscommunication. I'm good, actually. I might just, I mean, this is an expensive coat. I don't <laughs> want to sink up to my neck in guano while I'm wearing it, so. I reach up through the guano and grab Torres on the boots. I'm just going <laughs> to, I gently step away from Dob's grasping okay. guano covered hand. We've reached the Johnny is questioning their life choices portion of the plan. Mm -hmm. Shall we just try and, shall we get into like a position? Shall we pick yeah. a position and yeah. get into it? Sure. Let's get and some, get into a fight. Get some traps. Yeah. Let's um, get some traps set up. I yeah. would, okay. yeah, I would like to cast spike growth mm -hmm. in the, you know, the entryway that we think the dragon is going to come through. Lovely, great, done. The Draco Lynch. Um, Liliana uh, raises her hand and is going to go boop. Um, she casts Delayed Blast Fireball on the ceiling. Ooh. Uh, concentration wow, up cool. to a minute. That's going to that's gonna go off and probably take down a lot of the ceiling with it. Who's got water on them? I've got a small amount of water. I didn't have time before we left town. <laughs> <laughs> I can shape water. Oh, okay. That also sounds great. What do you uh, what, want water for? Well, what I'm thinking is this whole place is sort of like thick with bat droppings. Yes. If mm -hmm. we create like a pit and pour a load of water into the middle of it and create a sort of wet slurry, <laughs> then... then <laughs> a... <laughs> <laughs> Viewer, that was our, that was our producer was behind the curtain say. going... Oh. <laughs> Well, a little more professionalism out there, please. Um, well, look, I, now, as I was saying, the slurry will slow the dragon down. As it charges through, sinks into it, not expecting it, because every day just sort of cool. scampers over the top. Yeah, yeah work cool. with what we have. Sunk in slurry. We've got water, we've got guano. Well, I've, got, I've got grease, I can fill it with grease. grease. Yeah, put grease in it as grease well. Is yeah, um, I'd also like to uh, cast Mold Earth. Mm -hmm. As in MO, yeah, basically, I can cause the ground to become difficult uh, terrain for an hour. So just after it's the spike growth. It's pretty difficult terrain already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, perfect. so spike growth, difficult terrain, pool. Yeah, which is useful because it, uh, it slows the. Yeah. yeah, okay. Good. Anyone else? Any more for any more? I, I dread to ask. <laughs> um, what's the visibility like in here? You can see, all right. Is Pass Without Trace active? <sighs> Yes. So uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got to double check. So it's concentration. It if concentration. I have set up, um, I need yeah, to double cast check. Two more spells. I need to. It's it's okay. I can cast, cast different spells, but if it's another concentration oh, spell, I then I cannot. And I think is spike growth. Spike growth is a concentration. Okay, spell. fine. I was just wondering in case I'm hiding. What I can do is I can cast stone shape. Just making a little door in the wall if people want to hide behind the door. It's a really obvious yeah. that it's just a wooden door and there's like a little alcove. Wait, you can make a now. wooden door in, as part of stone shape. Yeah. Well, like oh. a, a door, a door, a doorway. A um, little hiding room. Right. We need something to spring so, out of, excitingly. I like yeah. the sound of that. A little that side hatch. Yeah. I can make, yeah, I can make a... 
I can shape a stone door. Uh, da, 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 da. If we know what, yeah, um, I can shape. It's a stone door. If we know what corridor it's like going through super quickly, you could just pop up a little wall and smack into it. That's a good idea. <sighs> That's slightly different, but I could. Yeah, yeah, I could put a, a stone. Yeah, yeah. A idea. Stone we could, thing. at the very least, like close off the exit that it's trying to head through, so that it it is trapped with us. Mm. But then we're trapped with it. Yeah, but we, but we, yes, but it's okay. a fight to the death. All right. Well, I'm I'm ready to I'm ready <laughs> to fight to the death. The I guess. Bat yeah. Suit. Yeah, we've got the bat. Suit. I've also just noticed that the uh, physical component of uh, delayed blast fireball is a tiny ball of guat guano and sulfur. Uh, bat guano and sulfur. Down oh, great. Down. Perfect. Wait, does that mean that it could be an extra big fireball? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got extra large amounts of guano. Not so much. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Right. Let's go. That was weird. Uh, okay, <laughs> a thousand bats are gonna go try and pull all the bones off <laughs> an adult blue dragolich. Maybe we should maybe that should happen once the dragon's in here yes. and it's stuck and then the wrenching. Yes. yes. So yeah, like, sure. so we so we just wait <laughs> for it here. Yeah. It's gonna come through here at some point. Yeah. Alright, let's settle down to a nice picnic in this wino room. Okay. I just wanna make sure the bats don't get blown up by Liliana's spell. Well, it's Some gonna, bats will it's going to explode in a minute, so maybe we shouldn't just wait for it to oh. come by. Cool, let's yeah, do this. Right. Oh yeah, got about bats. That. New plan. Go get him. Yeah. All right. Um, a thousand bats take to the air. <laughs> their their fingers uh, twitching menacingly. I don't uh, think I can bear to not see for, to <coughs> canonically not see this mm. like attempt to pull the dragon apart with yeah. a thousand just look I need to know as well. or something. yeah prudence can we all have a look through your drone Fine. is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> oh, i spend you my precious forcing her you to use her few spells casting my spot. mind's eye down the tunnel to see the dracolish well the bats rolled a nat 20. Yeah! Oh, Come on, yes. bats! Come on, hand bats. Bat 20? <laughs> yeah, literal <laughs> 20. Um, they just carry back its skull. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but they do, basically, they kind of like all, like, it, it's kind of like, uh, you know when ants have got hold of something and they're pulling it all in different yeah. ways? There's just bats, like, flapping frantically as their human hands grip onto things. And one of them, like, manages to prize out a tooth and kind oh. of make off with that. A bunch of them are grabbing onto like the ribs that make up its wings. And they effectively just like, it, the Dracolich starts roaring and screaming and trying to get purchase so that it can turn around and try and uh, do these bats in. Um, they effectively pull off its wings. Yes! Um, nice. Come on the bats. A good number of its teeth and about half of its tail. Wow. Wow. Which is, um, it, I'll be honest with you, it's probably good for you because um, this, this fight's it, was, it wasn't going to be easy, <laughs> and it probably still won't be, but I'm going to knock off... I'll tell you what, I'll knock 100 hit points off it. <laughs> 100? <laughs> yeah. And it's not... Okay. Gone. Oh, okay. it's not hard to, yeah. No. <laughs> well... Okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, so... Thank, thank the bats for us, please, Merylwen. That was sweet of you. Heroic death, well, you've been <laughs> uh, So you watch this happen, and then, like... It's it's kind of cool, like uh, it, it's like almost like the camera follows the the bats from backstage into the arena, mm. as they all kind of come out. And they're just like oh, <laughs> like carrying all of these bats, yes. um, and they just start flying straight out of the cave, nice. and they cut like they just pop straight back in, and they're kind of wow. caught in an infinite loop. Anyway, they sort of throw the bones over to the side, um, <laughs> and they're like, "Cool, great, see you later." Um, and the bats are just going to go hide. Yeah, now, leg it, leg it. They won't, they're only little. They won't have many hit points. And we'll so. probably roll for initiative there, won't we? Yeah. 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 Nine. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eight for Marilyn. Nine, Nine for Prudence. Prudence. Ten for, Ten for Dob. Dob. Mm -hmm. uh, Egbert, what was yours? Was at nine. Uh, and yeah, so the Dracolich basically it comes like absolutely hooning down this tunnel. You can mm -hmm. see it sort of emerging. It's going to go over the spike growth, but we're going to resolve that on its turn, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. So, Is it going to go anywhere near the grease pit? Oh, go on then, let's resolve it all. How big is spike growth? Uh, it's a 20 foot radius. And it's a D4 for every... 2D4 for every five feet. Great, can you roll 16D4, please? <laughs> okay, that is... 36. 36 damage. Got it. Thanks, Dob. Is it dead now? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You see a bunch of uh, just bone fragments pinging up into Oof. the ceiling as the spike grows to take chunks out of it. It's just like clack, 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 clack. It just starts roaring louder. Oh. Um, this thing is pissed off. 
Yeah. It's like it's, it's had its wings off. <laughs> It's very upset, is what I mean. <laughs> um, Has right. it slid into the slurry? Uh, it's got the. There's the. I put the mold earth before. Yes. The slurry. So difficult terrain. It's like yeah. it's doing a tough mudder or something. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> tough guano. Yeah, go on. It's going to go <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, it's going to yeah. go in for that. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, and then yeah, it's it's not looking out for it. Mm. It just. Yeah. Great. It's in the slurry. The grease slurry. Yeah. Ble- grease slurry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Now it's in the um, the flammable grease pool. I'm going to. Press the button on my cutlass that says "Use in case of emergencies." Um, that I believe uh, does a third, third, level, a third level fireball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You so, got a flame throwing cutlass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Had nice. it for a while. Yeah, I just don't use it very often because there was. <laughs> it says, don't use emergency. Dangerous. Well, there was some talk of dreadful consequences. I believe, but it feels like <laughs> this is the time. Well, um, consequences yeah. for whom? So I sort of like point away <laughs> from. <laughs> and press the button. Nice, yeah. I uh-huh. roll five, which is a fail, but uh, the adult blue dracolich gets a legendary resistance three per day. If it fails a saving throw, it can choose to succeed instead. Oh, okay. So it goes. Mm, Good choice. Second thoughts. On second thoughts, I think I'll succeed. Yeah, it takes, <laughs> takes half damage. Okay. It still okay. takes damage. Okay, what do I, what do I roll? So that'll be 4d6. Nice. Or if you'd rather, if you'd rather, 8d6 and then halve it. Is this our first legendary action? Uh, I think this might be your first legendary thing. Ooh. I mean, is it is it really legendary when you've pulled a bunch of it off with um, freaky hand bats? I regret my choice of words there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's 13. 13, all right. You're, you know what, you're actually getting somewhere with this thing. Cool. Uh, bonus action, I'll um, just pop open Merylwen's door and just um, slide in mm-hmm. to the, uh, the cavern, crevice, right. wherever we are. <laughs> Lovely. What am I in? Some kind of crevice? <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally just like a cupboard because <laughs> it can only go five foot in any direction. <laughs> um, do you want a stealth check? Yeah, go on then. Uh, dirty twenty. Okay, unfortunately, it's a twenty-eight from the Dracula. Dang. Okay. So it, it ducks the fireball, kind of goes like, yeah, because it still takes some damage, and then just watches me walk into a yeah, stone door. You get you, there's no flesh on its face, but you get the impression it's raised an eyebrow, mm. sort of like a jet like. Yeah, like a gentle <laughs> tilt of the head. Okay. Fair. Like a furious puppy. Um, Liliana is going to let that, I think she's going to let that delayed blast fireball go. Yeah. Cool. Um, Rip. Okay, so Liliana basically still still submerged in, um, in guano, just kind of goes like, and this delayed blast fireball, it just sounds like it's basically a 20 foot sphere of flame, just reaches down reaches the top of the oh, Dracolich, and it's like, Wah! really unhappy about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's take 52 points of damage. Oh, uh, nice. And I'm also going to say that a bunch of the ceiling comes down. Dang, on. Do, 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 for another three points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to emerge excitingly from the guano. <laughs> <laughs> sort of yep. propel myself up in the air. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> this... Great sentences uttered during Ox Venture. <laughs> yep. There's like... My gut tells me there's a strong chance this will kill every bat. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. Let's find out together. Sure. Through collaborative storytelling. Let's okay. find out when I cast Kill Bat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to aim the mother of all shatter spells um, right in the, I think, rib cage feels right to me. Cool. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, the legs are sort of sunking. What? Yeah, the, the kind of where the legs join the What's body. What's wrong with the centre of the skull? I don't think like it would blow it apart. Right. Also, we don't know that this thing Heck. would what this kind thing. Of shatter smell is this? There's no brain in there anymore. You've got but five seconds thing, to decide. Would this Four. thing stop it? Three, two, legs, le- 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 one. Shoulders, shoulders whatever great. the dragon. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Legs, shoulder joints. Shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> yeah, lich. Shoulders, shoulders knees, yeah. Toes, knees, and toes. That is, it's a con saving throw, isn't it? 22, halved. I mean, like, you still kind of, I'm going to say you, like, blow one of its scapula off. Sure. Like, you ever seen a, a, a Dracolich's uh, shoulder blade go pinging off into a ceiling? Yeah. Have now. No, it's a real treat. <laughs> Pretty cool. It, I definitely imagined Dob killed. doing this in a way that was like, and now the killing. Bats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this just shatters like a loud, ringing, like supersonic sort of feedback thing. Oh, oh you're right. It yeah. is. It is definitely loud. It says, a sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense. So the bats aren't dead now. They just are unable to detect food anymore because yeah, of echolocation, isn't yeah. it? So they'll die in a few days. Yeah, they'll see tomorrow, but they'll die. <laughs> 
You've just given a thousand bats to Nessus. <laughs> Aww. They'll be fine. I definitely imagine Dob springing out of the guano in a, a now for the killing blow kind of way. Yeah. So right. in my mind, he is just sort of like now just in front of the <laughs> from, dragon. Uh, and from I'm around your ankle height, you just hear. <laughs> wow. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. <laughs> Hey, but your go. I'm going to hit it with my mace. It's not my intention to turn it into anything else, really. Okay. Which is occasionally what happens when I hit things with my cursed mace. Indeed. Assuming I don't turn it into anything else, I would like to use uh, a spell called Ensnaring Strike. Ooh. Which I've never used before. Yeah. Um, Ooh, box fresh. Uh, yeah, exactly. The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack, before this spell ends, it spells a bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact. Yeah and the target must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the magical vines until the spell ends. Nice. Mm -hmm. Duration's up to a minute. Um, Look who's got a paladin on their team. <laughs> <laughs> a large or larger creature has advantage on this saving throw, unfortunately. No. Okay, yeah. yeah, it will have advantage on this but saving if it's, throw. But if it does work, while restrained by the spell, it takes 1d6 piercing damage. But I was going to maybe cast it from like a third level spell slot. Go for it. Because I get an extra 1d6 Spicy. for each of those. Lovely. So that yum, would be yum, 3d6 yum, yum. if it works. All right. Okay, I rolled a... I only rolled a 12 <laughs> for, okay. the, for the attack. So. Uh, I'm afraid it's armor class is 19. Oh, you do still have inspiration cool. from yes. the previous session. Let's, reroll. Let's do that. Let's do a reroll. That uh, is a, <laughs> only a 13. Oh. Okay. Down the pachinko machine. Yep. Oh. <laughs> you basically, you like, you walk up and you like, you, you like lash out with your mace and there's this massive like spatter of matter as you hit. It turns out it, that wasn't part of the Dracolich. It was just a load of poop. A load of poop. No. Do I have to roll to see if the poop turns into anything? No. no. <laughs> it would only turn into a different kind of poop. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Different animals poop. Yeah, different yeah. animals poop. And we've come up, like we've 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 done a lot of things over yeah. the last six seasons. <laughs> but there are some lines that you just shouldn't cross. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Uh, okay. It was worth a shot. You know what? It was worth a shot. That's the most paladin thing you've done in quite a long time. Wait, I can attack twice, can't I? Give it another. Yeah. Well, sh yeah. Screw it. Do it again. Go on, Twenty. Uh, critical oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> but the universe is telling you not, not to, to do, do paladin. Yeah. Stuff. Exactly. Give yeah. it up. Paladin. This is why I don't do it. <laughs> okay. Hankbert um, hits himself with the mace. Yes, you tonk yourself with the mace. Roll a d6, please. No! Oh, no. no. It's a one. Oh. All right. They just stubbed my toe with it or whatever. Yeah. I'm backpedaling away from the guano mess because I, <laughs> my shoes are new. Yeah, that's <laughs> very expensive. And I would like to cast Eldritch Blast. Yeah. yeah. Center yeah. mass. <laughs> Keep it simple and see what we do. All right. I was Great, really right? just the warm up act for Eldritch Blast. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> the I comedy like... idiot. <laughs> hey. so we'll put it together Woo. for the comedy stylings of Egbert. <laughs> opening for Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Okay, so twin beams of Eldritch Blast. Oh, that's a, an 18 and an 18. Oh no, because it's a 19. Oh, oh okay. You basically, like, <coughs> I'm just imagining it passes through. Like oh, gaps. just through the gap. Thread the needle. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Which, is cool. side, which is it's cool. It's like a laser light show. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry, everybody, I say, and walk it off. <laughs> Open up a deck chair and sit down. <laughs> Marilyn is. Where I'm, else? I'm Mask of the Wild. Of course. Around in the guano. So no, she the appears as a. She <laughs> appears as a human shaped pile of guano. <laughs> <laughs> elf shaped. Um, sorry, elf shaped. <laughs> Um, a DC 20 deck saving throw, please, Dob. I'm also going to make one for Liliana. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, basically what happens, um, the Dracolich, like, it is, it is ailing and it's starting to sink down into, into the mire. Um, but as its, its strength really starts to ebb, it kind of, it's silent apart from the clacking of bones because it's got no lungs to draw breath in with, but you see its head kind of rear back and then just in a 90 foot line that is five feet wide, uh, it blasts you with uh, lightning breath. Whoa. So you're about to take 12d10 lightning damage. 12d10? Okay. You're gonna take 80 points of damage. <gasps> okay. Soak it up, dog. Do you remember there was that one time in X-Men where Wolverine got run over by a steamroller and he's survived on a sort of molecular level. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and was able to come back from that. Uh -huh. That's that's sort of where Dob's at. <laughs> oh boy. How many hit points do you have? Now. Yeah. Three. Okay. 
Three is plenty. <laughs> <laughs> if I, well, That's all you need, I really. can live a full life with three. I can, take, <laughs> I can take three attacks if I... Yeah. How's Liliana? Uh, not faring much better than you, to be honest. Uh, oh, you've right. both been like thoroughly like... <laughs> yep. Uh, you're both very weak. She kind of collapses against you and is mm. kind of... <gasps> oh, she's in your arms. <laughs> Don't make it all out. Kind of more a slump <laughs> in the get up in a sort of we might be dying sort of way. Um, her breathing is ragged and she sounds absolutely furious. To be perfectly honest with you. Mm. And with that, we're back to the top of the round. Corazon. Here's Marowan. Oh, Marowan, sorry. So I'd like to point to underneath the dragon, mm-hmm. still hiding. Um, and beneath its feet, I would like to cast Erupting Earth. Um, oh. From underneath, uh, 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 underneath Dragon's Feet, and, and from a fifth level s- slot, because why not? Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, uh, it, a bunch of rocks kind of push up underneath and explode things. Guano coins going everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just okay. thought it's a nice way. I'm doing two things in one. One, I'm attacking the dragon, mm-hmm. and two, I'm bringing up some of the golf Corazon. Oh, Making it right. Yeah. And Thank just recycling much. the, like just sort of moving around. Yeah, you've got to churn the earth. Yeah, so. exactly. That's going to make it a lot more <laughs> yeah, fertile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, I've got to roll. Uh, Imagining it's just Dolph a- and Liliana just sort of getting like whirlpooled <laughs> around. <laughs> it's, just a, it's a deck saving throw. Okay, I hit it, hit it for uh, thirty-nine points of damage, halved. Basically, you sort of snap it in half. Um, it, like it's like a particular ridge of stones go boom and just neatly kind of incises it halfway through the spine and it gives a weird sort of like mewling shriek like ah! um yeah i'm gonna take us out of combat initiative it's not dead uh and i urge you to think quickly because it's uh skeletons breath weapon did just re- recharge Dob, you summon the skeletons, you raise Ethelfrith's hammer, and 60 skeletons, uh, a flying, flaming skull and the skeleton of a mule, all pop out of the ground. Um, Not pop- the ground. Well, the ground, they, they arrive. Um, <laughs> Takes them a little longer than usual. <laughs> Do you remember the last time you saw the skeletons? No. It was Halloween. Right. It was the... Was haunted, it building a theme park? Haunted house, yes. Yeah. Um, Yep, I'm so nearly there. You may remember that you just asked them to build you a steam engine. Invent the first steam engine, in fact. Yes. 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 So, 60 skeletons appear, and uh, one of them goes, Ah, boss, it's so good to see you, because we're still hauling this thing around and not sure if... It explodes. (laughs) The steam... Okay. Yep. Is that a three hit points damage sort of situation? We're, we're talking find about? out. Everyone's going to need to make me a deck saving throw, please. 13. 21. Save me dexterity. 16. 23. Ooh. 15. Okay. Just a fell for egg, but. And the Draculich, actually. Uh, so. Yes. Yeah, if you pass, you can halve this. So you're only going to take. Oh, so everyone is only taking 13 points. <laughs> A mere 13. A mere 13. From the exploding proto steam, steam engine. engine. Yes. Wait. Which... Back to the drawing board. Well, uh, so the good news is it's enough to basically atomize the Dracolich. Yay! Oh, yeah. It just kind of... <sighs> it, like, shatters into a bunch of bone fragments. Um, the skeleton... Like, all of the skeletons have exploded. And then they kind of like... <laughs> reassemble themselves. And they're like, oh, wow! Skeletons not expect that to happen, boss. Boss? Hey. Oh, you do not look so good. <laughs> no, and that's coming from you guys. Because <laughs> if I'm remembering this correctly, you got dropped down to zero hit points, but because you are a half orc, you're back on one hit point. No. Oh, no, I, I well, what was wait, the- Wait, wait, if the you explosion- only, only half damage. Only half the damage, so you oh. still took. Yes. Oh, so right. Still sorry. Thirteen. No. Right. Yes. No. Abs- yeah. So you yeah. Briefly I'm... had the choice to go towards the light. Yeah. yeah. Uh, luckily, my old half orcish relentless endurance kicked in, <laughs> and I am now, I guess, on one hit point. Yep. Uh, great. <laughs> um, no one accidentally Whoa. trip over Dob yeah. or. You know, yeah. No one do any like funny things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dob, uh, catch this dagger. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> I'd um, like to walk over and lay hands on Dob. Is there anything in my way that I might trip over? Let's <laughs> <laughs> like Let's see if Liliana's been incapacitated first. Oh, yeah. With the strength of the grave, oh. she has been reduced to zero hit points, but has 
just past the charisma saving throw. Oh. Uh, instead, dropping to one hit point. Hey! Uh, Too charming to die. So <laughs> One hit point, club. Let's yeah. high five. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're both just kind of in a crumpled mess <laughs> looking at each other like, I hate you. <laughs> Sweet, sweet fight, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. job. I'd, I'd like to go. I'm going to go lay lay hands on on simultaneously on Dom well, and Liliana. I yeah. took 13 points. Can I have some healing? You don't need it as much as they do. And I'm going to charge them both up to like mm, mm, a nice equal. I've got 40, a pool of 40 points. Oh. I can have 20 each. Amazing. Dang. Oh, that's enough for her to to just start start becoming really mean again. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, Dragon Man. Is there a visible soul escaping the Dracolich? Is it heading off towards the crystal? Dies? You're not, don't inhale it. <laughs> <laughs> would just... be funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, slow, I mean, there's a lot of what I would call miasma kind of floating around in here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. you do eventually see like a coil of sort of purple energy start to like snake its way up and then it just <laughs> zips out of the tunnel with like a very distant like roaring noise basically. Cool. Okay. Cool. I want to pick up the gold that Merowyn exploded out of the. Sure. Bonnet. All right. Should we? We can. We can hand wave the next however many minutes. You of can pick well, up, gold collecting. Pick up some. Are some the skeletons gold. still still around? The skeletons. Yeah. Skeletons. Okay. Right. Cool. Hey, boss. Hey. What do you want from us? Um. Well. You need help with something. There were there were a couple of things okay. I suppose. Yeah. That were on my mind. Uh-huh. Uh I recently came quite close to death. Yes. And I realized that if something were to happen to me, uh-huh. I don't actually know what happens to you. Okay. Do you know what happens to me? Yeah. To, to you if I die? Yeah. What? We stay in the hammer until someone else pick up and then they become boss. Okay. Would you be comfortable with a sort of bequeathing situation now if I bequeath the hammer while I'm alive? Yeah. Make no difference to a skeleton. Boss is boss. Who wants the hammer if I die? I mean, Prudence put her hand up first. <laughs> shotgun. What I was going to say. When you say the wrong hand. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a shotgun situation. I'm just saying, I think the obvious choices are Prudence or myself. Prudence for the whole vibe. Shotgun. Myself. <laughs> I could really use them to crew the ship, is what I'm thinking. And I think that is a, a very compelling argument, but we are all bound by a more ancient law, that of shotgun. Yeah, shotgun. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, pr- um, pr- the hammer goes to prudence in the event of my death. Okay. The other thing I was thinking yeah. was, uh, is there anything you can do with this? And I gesture to the sort of ruined skeleton of the dragon lich. <laughs> you want to take this bag with you? I don't know. Is that a thing? Yeah, uh, we could take bones, I guess. <laughs> boss not using them. I, get, I don't think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> they move That's, at the speed of light. That's so weird. 60 they skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> There's normally a terrible price to be paid for calling on no, them, no, but no, I guess this cool. time there isn't. <laughs> we need to kill boss. This one free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> cool, great. They all leap back into the hammer. Okay, brilliant. Um, all right. You can borrow my skeletons. You're right. They're to yours. Your shit. No, it's a good shotgun. Get it on weekends. <laughs> Mates rates. Mates um, rates. Unless there's any other business involving bequeathing things. I would like to individually high five every bat. Okay. It was literally just us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just sure. no one I mean, an egg, but I like... Such an odd thing to, don't know about you to go to. <laughs> but in that time, Lily, I was going to take a long rest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll probably... Okay, yeah, eight I'll hours later. Yeah, yeah, it takes about eight hours, but you <laughs> okay. finally finished yeah. high fiving well, every single bat yep. uh, in the cave. Great. Um, all right, let's head back to the town and we can get our crystal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, outside at the gate are two dwarves who are now standing up. They go, oh, that sounded intense. Did you kill it? Yeah, we did. We mm-hmm. sure did. Amazing. Do you think now the 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 curse might be lifted? We think you're free. Yeah. Really? Try I it. I don't know. I mean, give let's, it a go. Let's find out. I cast catapult on the door. <laughs> <laughs> you catapult the door. Okay. Yeah. This Ooh. is stretching the weight limit of the spell catapult. But... No, no. If you want to catapult the dwarf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you send him absolutely sailing 90 foot. Uh, the one next to you is watching and goes, yeah, we're free, look! And, and the other one goes, Poof, in the dirt, and then a thumb goes up. <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic. I don't know what to do with myself. We've been we've been trapped in that situation for a millennia. God, dwarves only live to be 300. <laughs> <laughs> How did you live this long? Oh, uh, he turns to dust. <gasps> oh, no! no. Oh. Oh. You see the other one sit up and go, what? Oh, and then... 
Oh, the way in the wind. wind. Hey. At least he died doing what oh, he loved. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> the <laughs> elves. The elves live for ages. The elves live fine. Oh. The bear of ages. all like... I mean, what if they're houses of all... Well, why don't you go see? Uh, okay. The settlement when you arrive uh, is still standing, um, and all of uh, all of the elves are actually gathered just outside the boundary. They're kind of standing there. They're watching as the column of smoke and the embers are sort of dissipating on the wind behind you. Um, oh, Samira. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Samira. Hello. Yes. Uh, we'll be taking our crystal now. Oh yeah. So. What you couldn't see over by the smoke, there was a big dragon lich that was going to, Draco lich, that's uh-huh. what they, they call it. It was going to come over here and destroy the town, oh. um, but it was trapped in the same loop that you have here in this town. Well, but don't worry, true. we killed the Draco lich, so it's not going to come and destroy the town. Cool. Um, and the whole kind of glitch thing, the teleporty thing, seems to have stopped now, so I think you're, you're free to leave. Oh, I'm so bored of living here. So bored. If you want to get out quickly, we've got a, Dob's got a spell. <laughs> That can lead, I think you'd really appreciate. <laughs> yeah? Well, let me go get the crystal and then we'll oh, yeah. talk. Sure, sure, sure. Um, she... Yeah, hold the crystal first, then I'll do it. <laughs> okay. She goes into the house where you saw the, the crystal before. She, it takes longer than you would have thought to just pop in and, and grab a crystal. Um, she walks out, she pushes the door, doors open, and you see there is a fire building behind her. Ah, <laughs> She's okay. decided, you know what? Sod it. Burn it down. Whoa. Like, we've lived here a thousand years. Oh. It's time to let it go. She walks out, she goes, one crystal. Thank you. Thank I told you, you much. shouldn't put out the torch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you must be kidding. We stayed in that cave for eight hours while this one high-fived a thousand bats. <laughs> and you think you think my torch would have would have survived that? We hid in liquid poo. Sounds funny when you say it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're all free to, to move on to wherever, to stop doing whatever it is you do in this town, I say throw open another door. <laughs> <laughs> there is one elf in robes worshipping a dog skull. I knew it! <laughs> he howls and runs off on all fours. <laughs> oh, that's just Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Take no notice. Knew it. Let's check the book. Let's check the book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah new quest. All right. We've got two crystals, two of five. Liliana's evil tome and look on the um, questing page, the, the journal of quests, mm-hmm. and see if anything is see resolving. See if our objectives have updated. Yes. Uh, you market. watch as the uh, they, they move faster now that you're no longer caught in like a temporal slowing thing. Uh, they resolve quite quickly um, into another diagram of a location. Um, uh, it takes a while actually for it to come into uh, you know full render with all of the lovely cross hatching and stuff like that. But um, well, to be honest with you, you've all worked out what it is long before it's finished because the diagram shows Mistmire. <laughs> bam bam bam. <laughs> So it seems the party is off to Mistmire, the ancestral home of Egbert's former Paladin Order. But when will they get there? Well, next time, Arlok's Venture. This, this time? Can it next be this time? time? Can it be this one? <laughs> yeah, I just roll right into it. I stride into Mistmire and discover its, its secrets. No. Definitely next time oh. on the Arlok's Guild, the final season.